Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution today where we are going to be doing a tour video. That's right, something we haven't done in like, god, what has been, it feels like years. I think we only did tour videos for our first series Return to Jurassic World and then I think we stopped them after that. I don't know why. I had a few parks and and that was about all the way back in Jurassic World Evolution number one. We're in Evolution 2, guys. But today, sorry guys, just had to cut off there because my sister just slipped, apparently. And, well, it's quite funny. But anyway, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. What tour video we are doing? Well, today we are doing the Hybrid Alpha facility. Well, not the Hybrid Alpha because one of the creatures in here is featured as not a hybrid but for this park i got inspired by evolution square who does amazing parks and this one i simply decided why not make a facility on one of the maps that was just inspired by the um security enclosure she made for her hybrids which is what i did but i changed it up this park features the indominus rex in alpha facility one in the second alpha facility, we have the Indoraptor, and in the third, we have the Giganotosaurus, because all three are the alphas of the Jurassic World films, each a villain of the film they feature in, and I decided we would feature an entire park for them, with their security ratings being the highest of the high, and the most deadliest of all. I figured it was only fair we had a park dedicated to them. And before anyone's asking, no, I did not do one for Scorpius Rex. As fur, if you guys are paying attention, you may recognize this as the United Kingdom map. Which, unfortunately, I didn't have room for Scorpius Rex. I might do a speed build and tour video for, like, each of these guys specifically, because that was the original plan. I was going to speed build each of these parks and then do a tour, but that didn't happen, so it is what it is. But I think we're just going to get this off. And now I'm just going to get into first person, and we're going to start with... Nope, that's transport. First person, let's start right here. Here we are. So, we are in Alpha Facility 1, which is featuring the Indominus Rex, which we're going to start by heading around. Simply put, this is basically a research facility for all of our dinosaurs. This one's sponsored by Biosyn Genetics, as they are still helping us with these as we move along, but also we better be careful as there is a massive Indominus Rex in here, but also I'm going to speed up because like this is going to be slow. Ah uh, yes, here is our main compound facility over here with some security lighting in case the subject escapes, and also if we go into here, into this little area, we can get a view of the enclosure from above. Actually, hold on. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, so now we have our view, and actually you can see right there. It is there, the Indominus Rex, and Park says it's closed, but who cares, you know? This isn't even a park. It's a research facility for the hybrids. Well, not hy- I'm so used to saying hybrids for, like, facilities that I make like this. And as you can see, we have a double-layered fence, because when dealing with something like the Indominus Rex or any of these creatures, you know not to mess with them. Now, this is- now- I designed all these to be very different, and you'll get an aerial view of each at the end, but I kind of designed the Indominus Rex enclosure to be more kind of like a Jurassic World exhibit, but very secured, obviously. And the reason why was because of the villain dinosaurs, it was the only one to be featured in a park, so I gave it a park-esque like appearance. That's why we have the um, visitor center, or the um, Site B version of the facility here, because this is the one that was used in, I think it was the San Diego Chaos Theory? I know it's not the Jurassic Park one, because like, you can tell from the roof, and I made it more fancy like the lights here, and also the little bits of fountains as well just to give it a nice fancy approach, even though it looks very secure and very dangerous. And also, you can hear other things, but there's nothing else here for this enclosure except for the Indominus. But also, if we head over to here, we actually have um, our Biosyn teams there standing by, the medical team and also a security team all ready to go. But also, if we go here, we can go we can actually drive on the tour and take this tour around where we might get to see a little more of the enclosure, actually. As also we have our re facility over here, which we house some 
assets that may be used for testing. As you can see, we have the Raptor enclosure here, as we want to see their, the limits that could come with Indominus Rex, of course. Also behind it, you may see some other cages. I think there's one. Yes, there is. There's a t one for a T-Rex, in case we want to see it face off against another Apex Predator, other than our other two, of course. But moving on, we just got to keep going around. This loops all around, and this is basically like our little security hub where we have all of our materials and stuff, such as um, our storage units and all the medical supplies plus some cages for any other um, creatures we wish to test the Indominus' skills on. But also we have our little hotel residence over here, like right behind this area, although it looks like just more security stuff. Also, we're going to just speed along, loop around this guy, because we don't want to spend all day where you guys are my guests, so you get a more exclusive um, view. And also we've looped actually back around, I think. Yeah, because there's actually more um, raptor enclosures here. I think I did it on both sides. Also, another um, medical vehicle I see. We really want to take care of these assets, you see. They are very expensive. Fully modified to be the most dangerous that they can be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is very exclusive. You will not be allowed to take pictures or anything as we enter the Indominus Rex enclosure. Do not send any attention towards the Indominus Rex as it is over there and we are driving right towards it. It may seem dangerous, but luckily it has shown that it is actually tameable to a point. This creature is reasonable. Oh, well, maybe not with that guy, but maybe if we can swoop here before he comes back. Ooh, that was close. There goes the Indominus Rex. Alpha Facility 1, and I think we're not going to be able to go in, so we're going to just have to exit. Oh, 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 I, oh, oh, I did not know you could actually walk through that. That was cool. But that is the Indominus Rex one. Now, I'm going to just jump out of here, and um, there we go. And if we go into capture mode and um, go up, up, and away, you can see that this is the enclosure of the Indominus. Very functional, very park-esque while being secure. Also, I sort of implied how it was less dangerous than the other two by the fencing. As you can see, it actually... The fencing surrounding this entire um, security area is actually um, a lower fence quality. While the Indominus itself is dangerous, I don't think it is the most dangerous of these. That comes to possibly the next one. The third one may be very strong, but I think the next one is far more dangerous. So we're gonna um, go through over the sky and we take the Hyperloop normally, but unfortunately you guys are not permitted to as that is security purposes. We don't want you guys using that, but we will head all the way over here to Alpha Facility number two. And now let me just land right there. There we go. We are in Alpha Facility 2, which again, we have um, the um, same visitor center here because I feel like those ones are really good. I do wish we still had the um, Lost World um, uh, Workers Village or even the J Jurassic Park 3 um, amalgam testing facility. Those would be so cool. I don't know why they didn't include them. Although this one is a nice one for a more security-esque one than a guest one for the visitor center. But here we are in the Indoraptors. I mean, Alpha Facility Level 2. Oh, oh God, the tower's the tower is glitching, guys. If we look up, it's gone. But there we go. I guess this game, this game is really struggling. Like, I've had to record this already twice, and it's not working. Also, we have some viewing towers here, which are mainly just for display in case of emergency, as these guys actually are so dangerous, they know how to break out at every corner, and we need to be prepared for that, which is why even at our hotel here, which a little more fancy, I will say, for this area, but we want to make sure that it is as secure as possible, which is why we have all of our facility stuff here, including cages for any creatures that escape or are being transported. They are immediately within the range and as you can see if we look at this fence it is like fully secure I actually have this 
I love doing this with these enclosures. You just um, use um, the concrete and then put the, one of the steels around them. It looks so cool. I absolutely love it. But also you see here more cages and stuff, more security stuff, and also more glitching out um, towers, which I can't look directly at them or they will. Also, right here, if maybe we might see one feeding, we ha may see our... Do we have one in here? No, no Indoraptor in here today. This is where they would come to get their drinks, and our scientists would stay on the other side to observe. This is the only areas where they can see them outside of the viewing domes. This is only for emergencies only. They won't go in here. They still think that this is going to be as safe as possible. Ooh, I, I hear something. I hear one. Do we see one? No, no Indoraptor here. But if we go around, we have our emergency bunker because this guy is very... Well, these two, because yes, we have two Indoraptors here. We're foolish enough to have two Indoraptors, guys. What are we thinking? Obviously, we're not thinking much, but also... Oh, yep, the tour is going, but... Oh, wait, here we go. We'll just have to cross through the path to be able to go to the Indoraptor's tour ride, which I don't think I actually have a viewing area. I think I have one, but we'll, we'll for now, we'll come back to this in a minute, but, but for now, we'll just go here. We have Biosyn featured again. Also, our Hyperloop system right here. You just enter this building here. We also have some T-Rex enclosures, plus Stegosaurus on cages in case we wish to, um, test out the skills of the Indoraptor. And... Oh, I think this is actually it. This is the viewing area, which, yes, this is actually where the, well, one of the f feeding areas is. We actually have two, which we'll go to the other one in a second. Then we'll head back to the, um, oh, what's it called? The, um, tour ride, which actually you can see passing by here. Although, ooh, you actually can get a glimpse of one of our interrupters, which it knows we're here. It already senses us as it watches us. But we're going to have to wait to see the other one. But for now, let's head around. And also, we have more guest facilities here. And also, the Hyperloop actually does connect to this side as well. And also, I think I... Hold on. I'm going to have to jump out for a second. Okay, so... Okay, so I made a mistake. The um, other viewing area is off limits to even the um, officers. Only v extreme exclusives are welcome there. Now, this loop, because of safety reasons, is actually only a straightaway. We instantly cut from where we started and just pass through here. No exceptions are allowed because these two are extremely aggressive and we can even see one. Now because of this is an exclusive tour for you guys as you are members of Biosyn themselves we're gonna go through but remember do not try and get this these things attention these things are deadly even though one sleeps in front of us right now but like other raptors, they could always be distracting us and waiting for the other. But the other one is also there. As you can see, this guy is itching himself. Oh, we got a creep past. Hopefully we don't get his attention. And here is the other one, which uh, looks like he might be going for drink or he might just walk past. This is the other Indoraptor, Rodrigo, we like to call him. The other does not have a name as it was just created recently. Now, we're going to head out of here because we don't want to disturb them, especially because um, the unnamed one, which we'll name Bobby Bo. Bobby Bo was looking at us. We're just going to leave him be because we do not want to piss these guys off. They are dangerous enough without a reason. We don't want to give them a reason to kill us. But let's just exit out here. This is our stop for this enclosure. And also, we're just... Oh, there we go. Now we're just going to need to pass by here. And there we go. We are out. And this is the Indoraptor's enclosure. Also, I'm just going to head out for a second so I can show you. This is actually the other um, area, which if you're in the Hyperloop, you can actually get a view of the Indoraptor's coming down. I think I have um, food feeding settings turned off because of the other exhibit, Alpha Facility Level 3. But I'll show you it later. But if we head up, you can also see them at a better view, maybe, perhaps. 
Let's see, can I see either of them? I don't, I don't see any, which, a bit of a shame, but, you know, it might, it'll be okay for now. We'll go next time, but we're gonna head out of here, and we'll show you a quick look of it in capture mode, actually, which will show you a better view of it over, but as you can see, this one is much more secure looking, because, I mean, concrete barrier with actually the electronic system around it as well. Even if you look at the end of Raptors fencing here, double layered on both sides, which may be a flaw for some people, but it gives quite a punch if they try and break out. I will say that. And quite, I think this was my favorite one to do. I love how simple it looks. Just a long enclosure, with two splits at the sides, and then a loop, um, a tour ride, sorry, just going through. But we're gonna head over to level three, which, warning, this one will be disturbing for all. And here we are, Alpha Facility level three, which we have decided this one will be mainly for our guests' entertainment, as we are not good people here at Biosyn, as you know. We lo I mean, for God's sake, we put chips that control their free will, and we use them to put them in a death pit in Jurassic World Dominion. But this fe- Ooh, you might be able to hear the Giga, but the Giga is not the only thing, because the Giga has been shown to have many scars and wounds, and you may be wondering where it gets those. Well, if we just go across here, and see on all of these enclosures, you'll see that this Giga has quite a bit of fun as we constantly restock and test its skills against all the dinosaurs that we can muster up in here. Whether they be the smallest just for hunting or even the toughest, the Giga is going to have quite the show to show us. Whether it's this guy, which I think is a Baryonyx. Oh no, that's a Cryo, Cryolophosaurus. And we have like all of them. Ooh, we even have a Spinosaurus from Isla Sorna, folks. But also we have some on the other side, which I'll show you later. But also looking on the other side, we have um, a few guest facilities, such as um, a smaller hotel and a few other things. This one is more open in comparison, which I made it sort of like, this was like a proper exhibit and stuff as well. Kind of like the Indominus, but sort of to represent like the um, Dominion-esque. As if we look at the enclosure when we get here, we might actually be able to get a good look inside, which I don't think the Giga's even in here. As uh, you can see, a Spinosaurus skeleton, actually. The um, Giga's enclosure actually has an exhibit here, but also, oh, oh, my, oh. Oh, hello, you big boy or girl, you know, I think it's a I think it was it was confirmed mail in by Colin Javar. I think it was. But yes, there it is. The Giganotosaurus. I think we only have one in here. I could be wrong in that, but we're just going to actually head around. Now, this one, because of the danger this guy causes as he fights pretty much everything like it's the reason why of these three levels he's at level three because we've seen him fight everything and he's not willing to stand down against anything even when the odds are against him he's goes for it no matter what also we have security shelters here just in case along with some guest hubs as well another science facility because we actually want to research what makes this thing so dangerous as well it's not the strongest technically it does show enough skill to win these battles also we have the hyperloop system again featured by biosyn and we have some towers over here which maybe we might catch a glimpse of something in one of them oh yes so in here is the battle arena, which we feature our Giganotosaurus in whenever we choose. If, say, we are feeling like we want to present a show to our guests, we instantly just bring them in here. And also my dog's here. Hello. How you doing, Esme? But yes, this is the battle arena with a viewing tower inside in case the system is shut down. We'll instantly have our team assess from the inside. This area is usually for our guests to view the... This tower over in the inside is for our scientists. Remember, the, this is an extremely dangerous beast. Now back to first person, because I accidentally went out. Also, you can see we have a few more creatures on this side, such as Triceratops. Um, ooh, Gallimimus as well. Also, if we look here, we've got 
the Ranger teams as well, featured by InGen, as we've actually merged with them now. Mazrani has lost control of them. We took them. Also, you can see the Dreadnoughtus, which is one of them. Also, what do we have here? Ooh, a Therizinosaurus. A very difficult pr um, creature to face, I might say. Especially considering it's a herbivore, and everyone has underestimates them, such as the Iguanodon as well, who's going a little crazy because it's probably spooked from the smells of all the creatures around it, such as Allosaurus here, who's his neighbor, and being stuck with Therizinosaurus next to him as well is not really comforting. Or the Dreadnoughtus. No size is a challenge for the Indom... Sorry, the um, Giganotosaurus, not Indominus Rex. I mean, Indominus would easily take down the Dreadnoughtus as well, but for this, while this guy's name means fear nothing, here we make sure he fears the Giganotosaurus as the apex predator of Alpha Facility Level 3. And also, we have some viewing areas right over here. Actually, we have quite a few, like, so we can see everything, like, so I think, let's try this one first. What does this one show? Oh, this one's like, this is like our little checkup facility, so right there is like his enclosure and say we transport him here our security team locks him in here and we do all medical checks before the fight because we want him in the best conditions the gates are open right now so we can show you for the tour but for now we'll just leave him here now these ones i'm pretty sure are just for like viewing the enclosure which also as you can see here is the beast again walking past the spinosaurus skeleton and also taking a nap i see right in front of us while being an intimidating foe indeed. Also, that is a cool shot, just like the spinal skeleton there. It's like, that's the past, this is the beast. And it looks straight at it, it's like, yeah, you're nothing. Which, honestly, kind of have to agree with him. Spinal would get his butt handed to him, I'm pretty sure. But, anyway, moving on, we also have more enclosed viewing areas, but also, in case our, these facilities are down, we have one more viewing possibility for our um, scientists, which is here, which you'll be able to see more exclusively and not draw the attention of them, such as eat their feeding habits and all of that. And I think, actually, that's it for the Giganotosauruses, so we'll head into capture mode and he head up, up, and away, and you'll see that this one is much different, as actually, as you can see, its enclosure is more of like it was in Dominion. I actually based it sort of on there, like the towers positioned where like it'd be right next to the forest and stuff. And also, I decided to make it pretty much as secure as possible again. But as you can see, the Giga is making his way to the battle arena as well. And that is the tour, guys. Like, it's not the biggest tour. It's not like the greatest. Like, I could have done so much more things like Okay, that was loud. I'm I'm a hundred I'm thousands of feet in the air and I can still hear that. And also, I'm so tempted to just like release all these guys and just let them fight. I'd want imagine if the Giga won. I know I modified it to make sure it would win, but like it'd be cool, like just release one at a time. That'd be so cool. But yes guys, this is it. This is the Alpha facility from level one to level two to level three in the United Kingdom in a disclosed area of the of there, of course. But anyway guys, what do you think of this tour? Have you made any facilities that are like this? And if you have, what did you do that was different? And if you want any ideas, let me know in the comments and I'll try and do them. We have a lot of tours coming in the future as I want to make more parks just like this and even other ones. And also, hopefully in the future we may be able to live stream as well, so maybe we will do um, stuff like that. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I'd appreciate the like, and if you have any other ideas for me to do that could be made into tour videos, let me know in the comments. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye